Imagine being trans and trying to go get your medication. I literally walk up there, the, la the lady on the phone is like, oh, can I have your last name? And so I give it to her. She's like, oh, okay, I'll meet you out there and I'll give you your prescription, right? So I'm waiting and she comes out and then she says, oh, is this for, and then she says my dead name. And I'm like, my name is Rylan. And she just looks at me. And then she puts the medication on the table and shuts the door and locks it behind her. Wow. Horrific. And this is what we've done to our kids. Well done, uh, lefties and I'm lovies. Sure, Great I'm work. sure there's Great youngsters work. in developing nations who are just right now filming themselves for TikTok crying about yeah. being dead named. Coincidentally, talking about dead naming, that's now been removed as hateful content, yep. the content on Twitter. So this is one of the so good just things explain, Elon Musk has done. Lots of people don't actually know what dead naming well, is. Well, see, if you so decide you're going to be known by another name, so say you, whether you go through a, a transition where you have medication or whether it's just a social transition, so you might go from being Rowan to Rowena, in the That's my financial review column. What's wrong? Now you're, now you're, you're dead naming me, Rita Penny. So, if, and if someone accidentally calls you Rowan instead of Rowena, that's considered dead naming. And Twitter used to consider that an unforgivable sin, even yes. if you were talking about people who had achieved things in the original name. So, say I spoke to Caitlyn Jenner this week. Caitlyn Jenner used to be Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner won Olympic gold medal, was a yes. massive star, but. If you say Bruce Jenner, that was a so sin. So would you have been in trouble with would he, she, no, whoever? No, she, 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 she would have she, said, yeah, she, fine. She's perfectly fine and with, yeah. with being, uh, you know, having those uh, part of, that part of her life acknowledged because that is There's something the deeply, life. deeply sinister about the concept of dead naming, the idea that, OK, fine, you can talk till the cows come home about transgenderism and transitioning, wrong body, et cetera, et cetera, and there are genuine gender dysphoria issues. But the idea that who you were born and who your parents named you is dead. Not that you've changed it. It's not yeah, like you know, well, it's this, dead. And Rowan, that this is somehow... This goes, this, you know, it's all tied up in what we talked about with Bev earlier in the show. And the point I was trying to make about how so much of this is an attack on the way that society, human beings, have organized themselves for thousands and thousands of years. And by making people feel constantly never sure what they can say, where they can put a foot wrong, turning the entire culture into a minefield and also separating those key relationships between parents and children, yeah. this is all part of that agenda. What Musk is doing here is just simply reasserting a truth. Common and sense. that's all it is. And, and, and good on Elon Musk. And that's why they hate him. Elon Musk. Yep. Uh, tra challenging these universally acknowledged truths that women have babies, that men, Bigot. men don't. <laughs> I mean, the, the fact that you now can ask any prominent person, whether it's a politician, whether it's the health chief, uh, Dr Brendan Murphy, <laughs> uh, what is a woman... And they falter. They don't want to answer. That is what they have achieved in doing. And that's why they want to have drag queens reading stories to kids. It's about just having children from a very young age questioning what, you know, should men be wearing dresses? What is a man? What is a so woman? Reality and this is this, this, this whole thing too. Next, next thing you'll be telling me women don't have penises. Well, Come that's on, the thing. Rachel. Because remember when I think it was Rishi Sunak <laughs> said that in yeah. the UK and the media, especially the media here, <laughs> all lost their minds are all these headlines. Rishi Sunak's shocking, you know, <laughs> claims, claims. 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 Oh, claims. Bizarre God. claims. Bizarre claims. Bizarre claims. And Insane. at the end of the day, and we've said it before, and we'll say it again, so much of this is due to the media. So much of sure, this sure, sure. Uh, but, cancer but, 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 in but, the but culture. But worse than that, it's, it's the hard left and the neo-Marxists, the, neo -Marxists, the cultural course. Marxists who are pushing all this garbage on us.